Okay, this is lesson 8-1. This is going over the different properties of addition. We've already learned them from multiplication, but we're going to go back and see how they apply to addition as well. Okay, so we have the commutative property, which that's the same one that means it doesn't matter if I'm going from home or to school, or from school to home. It's the same distance from point A to point B. So in multiplication, that meant three times four equals 12 is the same as four times three equals 12. In addition, it just means three plus four equals seven is the same as four plus three equals seven. So it still means the exact same thing. I can flip-flop. That's what commutative means. I can flip-flop my two numbers. So I can flip-flop them in multiplication and get the same answer. And I can flip-flop them in addition and also get the same answer. We also have our associative property. Okay, now in multiplication, this meant three times four times two, okay? I can go three times four. Remember parentheses mean is I have to do what's in there first. So I can do 12 times two is equal to 24. Again, three times four times two. My order that my numbers are in aren't changing, but I'm changing what two numbers I'm multiplying first. So four times two is eight. 3 times 8 equals 24. So it doesn't matter if I multiply these two numbers first or those two numbers first or even these. I can do if I have 3 times 4 times 2, I can do 3 times 2 first and then multiply it by 4. It just it doesn't matter. As long, I can put my parentheses around whichever one. So 3 times 2 is 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, well the same thing holds true for addition. Okay, so for our associative property of addition, okay, I have 6 plus 4 plus 2. Okay, I can do 6 plus 4 first, or I can do 4 plus 2 first. This is going to be 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. And this is going to be 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. So it's wherever those parentheses are. I can remember associate means associative means you can associate with whoever you want to associate with. So I can associate these two numbers first by putting the parentheses, or I can do these two numbers first by putting the parentheses. Okay. We also have the zero property. Okay. Now, in multiplication, anything times zero equals zero. In addition, Anything plus zero equals itself. It's kind of like the ones rule in multiplication. So, because um, in the ones rule of multiplication, anything times one is still itself. In the zero property of addition, anything plus zero is still itself. Okay, so let's take a look at our, at our sheet here. Okay, this is eight dash one. All right, so commutative means home to work, work to home. I can add the numbers in any order and the sum will be the same. So I can do three plus four is the same. Okay, three plus four is equal to a total of seven. Or I can switch them around and go four plus three, and yes, that's still going to equal seven. Associative means I can group them, right? We got four plus two. Here's our four and our two plus one more. Or we can leave our four outside and we can do our two plus one, okay? So four plus two, so can equal seven, right? Is the same as four plus two plus one. I still have four, two, one, four, two, one. I'm just doing, changing where I put my parentheses. So four plus three is also seven. Zero, five, one, two, three, four, five, and zero. Five plus zero is still 
five. I can add zero to any number and it's going to stay the same. Okay, draw pictures to complete the model of the commutative property of addition. Okay, that means commutative means flip-flop. So you have five plus three equals eight. They want you to draw pictures. So draw stars now. Okay, this is one way to do the problem. Now they want you to flip-flop. Instead of five plus three, you're gonna do three plus what? Write the correct number there. Instead of five plus three, you're gonna do three plus, it should be a five, okay? Now you need to draw your stars. One, two, three, and how many are you gonna draw over here? Draw them. Yes, you should have five. Okay, and then we add them together. And you know your total. Eight. Okay, draw a picture that shows the, shows the associative property of addition. They want you to use nine objects, six objects, and four objects. So it's going to be nine plus six plus four. You need to do it on the back. And it doesn't matter if you use stars or boats or smiley faces or desks or chairs or pies, whatever, pancakes, whatever you want to use. But you need to do nine plus six plus four. And associative means you're going to group them differently. Okay? Put two of them in parentheses and then put a different two in parentheses and make sure you get the same answer. Do it on the back and I will see you tomorrow. Good job.